I was not close to him, but still I could feel the family's mourning, the wife and the two daughters. I could sense it even from the distance. So, what was this mourning for, for the loss of the object of love, for the life that was inhabiting this body? Now it's gone. Where it went, we don't know. But we can see that the opposite of birth is death. But there is no opposite to life. Life is without beginning. And what is without beginning is without end. And that, what was inhabiting the body, that life, we have never actually seen. Only the symptoms we have seen. We have seen the car that was driven, but not the driver. Still we mourn for the loss of the object of our love. And um, this will go on as long as we don't find that essence, that spark of life that is animating that matter until we know who we are and who the others are in truth, in life that has no beginning and no end and when we do so, we will live on the eternal plane, in our eternal relation to the Supreme Soul and as one and different that we are as individual souls. So uh, this may be inspiring, I hope to some extent for those who've been um, mourning over lost ones and our task is to mold our egos to expand our egos further into truth further into eternality and the bliss that we are.